Right, it's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and recently I did a video and I put a picture in of a conrod. Um, I can't remember what the video was about, it's just a picture of a conrod, or the design of a conrod and stuff like that. I can't remember what we're talking about. And someone said, oh, what's that thing? And then somebody, the, the, another person sent me another picture saying, what's this on the side of my conrod? So basically they have a conrod like this. And... Let's see if I can do this. Oh, fucking, I already fucking muffed it. Like so. And then there's a hole here. It's like a chamfered hole. If you look on the drawing, there's a line you know, drilled through. But there's this chamfered hole sat there. And he's like, what the hell is that? That is a squirter. <laughs> do not... Oh, please, yeah, actually, yeah, do that. Put that into Google. That's awesome. Um, but basically, there is a clearance, an oil clearance, between your conrod and the bearings, obviously, and your crank pin. And oil is fed through the crankshaft to the crank pin and is bled out through the cross-drilled holes in your crank pin to basically have an oil film between your bearings and your crank pin. Now, generally what happens is, is this oil just squirts out. So it's under pressure and then because of the clearance, and this is why clearance is important, if you have a larger clearance then your pressure is going to drop, which means that the wear is going to increase. And we'll go through all them kinds of things with oil clearances and what have you and how they measure them with plastic gauge and actually how that works um, but instead of just having this um, oil just piss out of the sides of your rod and that's why we have side clearances on your rod so there's actually enough room for the oil to get out uh, otherwise your pressure will go through the roof and you'll fucking kill everything um, this oil some of this oil is used comes out here comes out this hole and squirts up so a gusher that's what we should call it and as your conrod is flapping around in your engine, it's obviously going, the bottom end is going down and then up and down and up. And this basically squirts the inside of your cylinder like this. So this is how we lubricate, or the old school way of lubricating your cylinder wall, um, which then your rings take care of later on. It also helps with cooling, obviously, because it goes onto the cylinder walls, takes heat with it and drips back down. So that's what they are. Pretty short video, this one. <laughs> oh, I need to go on. Seen a bit. 